problems with it. Number one. Oh my god. No, no. Here, I'm gonna tell you why. Because How, Wednesday I had something to do. Okay. Tuesday I was definitely gonna watch Bobby Brown anyway. But Wednesday now you know you, you can't like you can't on demand BET. Right. So you have to watch it. But I got very lucky on Thursday because they showed him again, and I got to watch part two on Thursday. So I didn't have a problem. I wanted to watch this. Let me tell you. Did you? Oh, absolutely. Oh, okay. So quickly, before we get into it, one to ten. Wow, you caught me <laughs> off guard. Um, there's, there's so many different ways to judge it. Um, part one? No. No. In its entirety. No, I can't. No, no, you can't. Part one was no, eight. No, 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 no. I liked part one the a lot. The Bobby Brown movie, one to ten. Go. Six and a half. Mm, that's pretty high. Because I give number one an eight, and I give number two a five. So so it averages out to six and a half. Let me see what I give it. Part two is terrible. <laughs> yo, yo. Yo, part two you know is what? not I'm, I'm, good. I'm, I'm oh, like, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. We, we might as well rate the commercials, right? There was more goddamn commercials than there was movie. That was a one-hour movie spread out across four fucking hours because every was. five minutes there was a commercial. It probably was. I think I'm going to go. I think I'm in your ballpark with it. I think I'm going to give it a six. A six? Did you yeah. like part one? Or did you think it was equally as bad as part two? Part two was terrible. There was a, it's, so, it's so hard because it was parts in there that was cool and there was parts in there that was super, super ridiculous. I don't know. We're going to break it down. Uh, just before the record, before we even get into it, I just want to say this. When I was in junior high school, mm -hmm. I was a huge Bobby Brown fan. Everyone. No. Nope. No. Nope. Everybody had their favorites. Oh, Bobby was your man. Bobby was my dude. Really? Like, I'm, I'm serious. Like, I had the don't be cruel button on my jacket, on my coat. When he had that sweater? Yo. I was just, I, so by me watching this, it was just a little bit more, it was bigger than me watching the new edition. Really? It was bigger for me to watch this. Really? Because I was such a Bobby Brown fan. But if I had to compare, new edition story was better by way far. Yeah, I way would agree far. With that. I would agree with that. I don't even know. Do, did the people that did the new edition story do his story? Yeah, the same actors and everything. No, we it, know it's the same I think actors. It's just basically but... a continuation with the same production company and everything. Well, with the exception of the wife executive producing this, because yeah, she found not her for way nothing, into that. this was not the Bobby Brown story to me. It was the Bobby Brown and Alicia Love story. That's how I took it. I didn't take this as this life. This was all about them two. I thought that's why part one was so much better than part two. Because Alicia wasn't in it. Yeah, just just on some bullshit. Like, you didn't even know who she was at first. And you, you're wondering, like, well, who is this woman in the studio who's, like, right, giving right, advice? Right. It's like, what's it the deal with this? It was just too many. You know what it was? It was it was too much of Bobby trying to let everybody know, like, I'm not as fucked up as y'all think I am. It was him trying to prove it too much. And in, in my opinion, for a really good biopic, you have to look flawed. You have to look... Because this... this like, like Ricky with the Coke in the cereal box. Right, the I mean, one, right? this... This the life of a rock star, the life of a celebrity. It's not going up, 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 and that's it. Right. There's going to be peaks and valleys. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it was just way, way too many peaks for Bobby Brown's well, he story. He was in jail. I mean, he put himself in jail for a little while, and 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 you know he went through the detox there, and he got out and vilified her for still getting high. But it's like he did turn this, that part two to me. Part part two really was was whack. I think that's why Bobby Brown is just so admirable to me because he was flawed. Like and and it, and it's yeah. it was it's human. Yeah. As soon as. I found out that he was dating Whitney Houston and they got married. I'm like, yo, rest in peace, Whitney Houston. What a love story. I don't care what type of effed up things that they went through. Nobody cannot deny they were in love. That was a love story. And I, I just don't like how they disrespected Whitney in that in that movie. That was very, very bothersome to me. They disrespected... Listen... Who knows behind the scenes when Whitney was at her highest point of high tivity? She probably was a bitch. You know what that's I'm saying? A, that's Who, a great word. But I'm just saying, uh, why? I don't like 
when people try to kick people back in when they did. Yeah. I don't, yo, that really bothered me. You know, the Bobby Brown story isn't nearly as compelling or interesting without Whitney. And and I'm not sure that... That's a fact. I'm not sure he would have pulled himself out of where he was without Whitney. <clears throat> um, even though Whitney seemed to keep the, keep struggling, I, I don't think Bobby's problem would have been drugs. I think Bobby would have shot somebody. <laughs> I think Bobby would have gotten into fights. I think Bobby what would have babies if all over what? the place. If he didn't have Whitney as, as a... You know, they made it seem like she took Bobby's money. I don't know. Did it seem that way? Yeah, yeah. Like $25 million, I think, was the actual number. that they, And they said that they didn't have any more. That it just you... evaporated because it all got absorbed into Whitney's money. And the brother told him not to. And Little Rail told him not to. And they were like, yeah, they were like. Shout out to Makai Pfeiffer who did Oh, he did a great thing. job. He did his But why did he look time. like older than the mother? Stupid. He was older than the mother. What the You're fuck stupid. is going on here? I, I didn't get that part, but he did a great job. He he did a really good job, but they should have really um I he really looked older than the mom the whole time. Listen, I'm gonna get into what irked me, irked the shit out of me. Wow, okay? they, more than what you've already said? One, the first and foremost was they shitted on Whitney. And would you give this a six that, and a half? No, I didn't say the half. You said the half. I oh. said a six. Wow, and you, and you got more complaints than this? Oh. This is going to be interesting. I'm going to see how you got to a Number six. Number one, We're first do the and math. foremost was did you shit it on Whitney? That's what I don't like. That makes me feel like now I understand why the Houston family don't rock with him like right. that. Okay? My thing is this. Don't, don't act like you didn't love the woman. Don't act like she didn't give you a baby. Don't act like, you know, y'all didn't have history. Why are you going to kick her back in when she did? I didn't like that. Number two, the part about when Bobby Christina, did you want to say something? Right, 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 right. And she was ke- keeping them yeah. going. That's what I mean. Like, when he came out of jail, he, he was all of a sudden an angel. Right, and... right, right, right. Come on. I see. You said we're not going to do this no yeah, it was more. Right. You it was kept right. going. Don't yeah. try to blame. Oh, but wait, wait. How about the first time you ever saw her do cocaine was in a wedding? The day of the wedding. That's the first time you ever seen her. Really? 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 You're supposed to believe that. I know. I know. Are all we right. really supposed to believe that? Uh, The part when Bobby Christina and him was in the restaurant. Yes. And she started talking about how she was so sorry. And yes. They were, that didn't happen. I wasn't there. And it didn't happen. That didn't happen. What? Say something. I'm not saying anything. I, I, Do you his, think as rebellious as Bobby Christie? Huh? It's his side of the story. Good night, mister. I want to see Robin's movie. Stupid. That's Stupid. whose movie I want to see. It might be on Pornhub, but I, I want to see Robin's movie. Uh, what else? What? Oh, are we gonna get into uh, Janet? Yeah. Why are you gonna throw? Why are you gonna kick Janet back in like that? Come on, y'all. Not for nothing though. But I thought that was mad foul. You gonna not say nothing about that? Bobby. Who's Bobby. The, who, why is Bobby? <sighs> for those who did not watch this story, Bobby Brown. Supposed to had a little rendezvous. I'm not going to say it was a relationship. Would you classify it as a relationship? There's a lot of pictures of those two together now. Okay. That they're starting to all pop up on the all internet. Right. I don't know but if you But it wasn't public, though. No, no. It was, it was, it was a side. It was a side. secret rendezvous. Right. And it was a scene where him and Janet Jackson was in the bed and basically... Oh, wait, wait. Time out. You're skipping over something. All right, go. Help You're me. skipping over. Help me. You're skipping over when he showed up with a convertible. Was it a Bentley? Right, right, A convertible right. Bentley with a big with a bow, on, bow it. on it, wearing a white fur coat at the house she Come shared with on. her fiance. Yo. Yo, Bobby was a snitch. You sitting up here talking about how Janet was in a whole relationship with James DeBarge and she cheated Yo, with him. Yo, you showed up at the Brown. house. Where they know, do that at? In a white fur coat. Janet, say something. Did this happen? Yo, did he have a shirt on under the coat? Because that would have really been a pimp so. I don't no think so. No shirt, had, right? No. Yo. That dude showed up on some, yo, yo, what's up? And he was in the house. So he was put, in the house. And you know, Janet's not going to say nothing. And then they went to the hotel and she and made it up to him. And that's why you did it because you know She Janet made it up to him by putting it on him. Right. And then he's sitting over there with the covers over him like, what am I to you? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. What the fuck is going on? Listen, listen. There's an incongruity there. Someone doesn't show up at your house with your fiance home with a bow with a car on it and a white fur coat and no shirt and then turn into what am I to you the next day when you see him. 
It's just that doesn't work like that. I, now, you know, there's a part missing that in that story. Why is that so story. important to Bobby to put that whole part with Janet Jackson in the movie at all? Because now everybody's saying, wow, Bobby really got yeah, it in. Exactly. No, Bobby it's was the man. It's constantly Mel Pat's on the back. No, Bobby was the man. Bobby's fucking hurt too well. That, and that, right. That's like fucking Rihanna and Beyonce right, right, at the right. same time. Oh, my God. He's the man. That's all he wanted. That's all he wanted. And listen. Now, there's a part missing that story, supposedly, where he locked her out in the hallway that same day right, when right, she had right. no clothes on in the hotel. Right, right. Oh, so he spared her that little he part. He spared her that part. Oh. And 50 mentioned it. And was like, oh, I heard that got edited out. And Bobby commented on 50's thing that, that um, yeah, that made it, it was last minute cut out. So he's, he's acknowledging that that shit is true, that he really locked her out. Niggas is ruthless. No, just... just- <laughs> Just, 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 just the bitch ass ones. Yeah. 50 right. and Bobby, boy, those two, that's some team. Wow. Those two, they'll snitch on everybody. And then the part where, you know, we saw how Alicia was uh, Teddy Riley's girlfriend. Time out just for a second. All right, go. Who did the casting in this fucking movie? Alicia. <laughs> you know why? Because Alicia don't look nothing like that Alicia. Fuck no. <laughs> She does Alicia, not. Alicia, you know you was wrong for that, having that beautiful, pretty, Beautiful, pretty young, girl. That girl was gorgeous. Because we were sitting I here cooled, like, we were sitting here like, shit, I said, man. let me look at, find Alicia Brown. I said, what, 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 what Train wreck. What, what, the, what the, what? Train wreck. What is this? That, that, <laughs> she is, she's not pretty. So she, she was TLC for real. Very unpretty. So I'm, I'm sitting here, I'm like, look, I'm like, I'm like look. I would have left the Whitney in the in the in the Janet in this thing too for her. She's banging. She would tell you. I Riley. know she that's right. Cute. I was like, yo, she cute. And then all of a sudden, you see the real life one, and you're like, whoa. Right. So and then okay, so his he didn't when when they started to show the relationship with her and Teddy, and then he reconnected with her. I guess years after, and he's like, yo, what's up with you and Teddy? She was like. Oh, that's been over. Like, wait, we got more timeouts. All we right. got more timeouts. Time out again. Go ahead. So she's the one who actually talked him into marrying Whitney in the bathroom. No one else opened the Now I'm <laughs> to Time out. Time out now. I'm supposed to believe your brother and all your own boys knocking on the door gets no response. Right. But this girl Alicia, right, 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 right. who supposedly you're not fucking yet. Right. You just know through Teddy She Riley. has the power. She has the power. Knocked down the door. Snap. I got the power. Right. She knocked down the door. Bobby lets her in, talks to her, walks down there and marries a cokehead. Oh. Who, who, and that, then it. finds out that day that his wife did coke for the first time. Right. Who the fuck wrote this movie? The part one's about Alicia. to Alicia. Get... Yeah. <laughs> and another thing. Another thing. Why Bobby ain't never get fat? In the movie? Yeah. Hey, man. That, he was skinny the whole two parts. And who the fuck did that makeup after he had the stroke? <laughs> that was the worst shit. BET needed to do something with their budgets, man. That shit was horrible. The makeup, it basically, look, they, 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 they made this little part a little fat. That motherfucker talked like he coked up all the time now after that stroke. Yo. Come on, B. I don't have a good feeling about Miss Alicia. 